Hey guys, and welcome to vlog number seven of the year. So first we're gonna talk about the books that I am currently reading. So on Monday, I plan on finishing um, These Old Shades by Georgia Heyer. So this is a historical romance. I am enjoying it. It's good. It's not great, but it is good. Um, I really like the plot in this. Um, it really reminds me of Outlander and Jane Eyre. And we will talk more about this on Monday. But my weekend read, I am about to start it because I finished the roughest draft last night. So it's time to start my next romance book. And I'm starting The Dill by L. Kennedy. This is very popular. It's like hockey romance. I don't know. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like a girl is like really smart and doesn't know a lot about relationships and whatever. But she has a crush on like this really attractive guy. And um, then there is Garrett, who, and the girl's name is Hannah, but then there is Garrett who is in college. He wants to play in the NHL later and all of that, but his grades are plummeting, so he needs somebody to tutor him. So Hannah is the one who comes in to tutor him, but she's like, you have to set me up with my crush and all of that. So I will be starting this today. This is a very popular series that I've been wanting to get to for a long time. There's actually like two series, but this is... Um, the first one in the off-campus series and just the one that I was told to start with. So that's what we're currently reading. Shows we are going to end the first season of Glow this weekend. That's a rewatch and then I'm gonna finish all of Narcos and it's the Colombian Narcos, not Mexico. So um, we're gonna be finishing shows or finishing seasons this weekend. That's exciting. We have the Super Bowl tomorrow. So I mean a lot going on, you know. But yeah, so I think I'm going to read outside. It's 71 today. I think that's what it, like I saw that on Walgreens as sign as the temperature on there. So I'm assuming that's accurate. And um, yeah, I went out earlier to go to the car. So I'm going to read outside. I don't know where I'm going to read in my yard. I may treat myself and let me let me sit somewhere different. I don't know. But I'm going to be reading The Deal by O. Kennedy. And I have no set goal to get to in this. I'm just mood reading today. This one is a lot like smaller print and a lot more words on a page than the romances that I've read this month. And this is about 380 or 390 pages. So it is bigger than the last two, but not by a lot. I read a lot in one sitting. I have no idea what time it is because my phone died, but I got to 17%, which is 61 pages, chapter 7. I am really liking this. It might be my favorite so far this month, which it makes sense that I'd like this because it is so popular. And yeah, I'm liking the dynamic of the girl being mean to the guy. Like, not really, like, I don't know, like, yeah. I don't, I don't know how to just, I don't know what to call that. So I don't know what kind of trope that would be, but... I like it and but the one thing is I feel like these characters seem a lot more immature now I have no idea how people act at college I don't know how people talk at college or any of that because I didn't go to college but they talk really high schoolish to me but again I don't know because <laughs> like with the guys the majority of the guys that I've talked to didn't go to college and then a lot of my friends, some are at college, some aren't, and yeah, so I don't know if this is how people really talk. <laughs> and again, this came out in 2015, but um, there was a part about watching Ted Lasso, and I thought Ted Lasso was like a recent show, but I could be totally wrong, because this is a 2021 reprint, so I don't know if maybe um, any of their writing changed or anything like that, but I am really liking this, which, I, yeah, I didn't know if I would like it or not. Um, definitely there's steam, like, in the first or second chapter, I don't know, yeah, um, and I think a lot of these characters are have depth, especially one paragraph that Garrett just had, um, like, he's more than just that hockey guy, whatever, and then, um, Hannah's backstory with some of the things she's been through in the past and all. 
I think this should be really interesting with all their backgrounds and they'll probably get together assuming because that's what happens in romance so I am enjoying this I think I'm gonna watch an episode of Glow right now and yeah I've read another 60 pages and I'm really really liking this yeah probably my favorite book this month so far but I mean we have some nice ones on the TBR so you never know what may happen but yes this is my favorite so far so I am uh, 119 pages of the way in chapter 13 so I'm just reading basically 60 pages and a sitting I'm gonna watch some narcos now I am kind of hungry so I'm just gonna snack because it's still like an hour till dinner but I did eat my lunch or not my lunch like I had pizza rolls between my lunch and whatever so I guess that was a snack but <laughs> I ate kind of earlier than usual for my lunch and everything. So yeah, I've just been early doing stuff today. But yeah, I did finish the first season of Glow, which is a rewatch, so it's like, you know. Um, then I'm going to watch Narcos right now. And those are the plans. After that, I'll probably eat my dinner and then get to reading again. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday, which is super exciting. You can see where am I? Ram shirt. I got this at the Nike store in LA, which they probably have multiple Nike stores, but at the Grove, the year the Rams came back to Los Angeles, I got this shirt there and still have it. I used to be a Rams fan, and then I became like a Miami fan somehow, but um, I did get some book mail, and it is Manhunters, How We Took Down Pablo Escobar by Steve Murphy and Javier Pena, so this is the um, real story from the actual DEA agents portrayed in the hit Netflix original series Narcos. So I wanted to get this book at Barnes & Noble this month, but they just didn't have it. So um, I'll intro the first paragraph for y'all. So Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar's brutal Medellin cartel was responsible for trafficking tons of cocaine to North America and Europe. In the 1880s and 90s, Colombia became a war zone and his, I never know how to say this correct pronunciation, but it's hitmen, but Cicerios mer mercilessly murdered thousands of people, competitors, police, and civilians to ensure he remained Colombia's reigning kingpin with billions in personnel income. Escobar bought off politicians and lawmen and became a hero to poorer communities by building houses and sports centers. He was nearly untouchable despite the efforts of the Colombian National Police to bring him to justice. And so this is a DEA, which is Americans taking him down. So, um, I really want to pick this up right now, but it's not nonfiction November. And I'm reading a romance this month, which I'm really enjoying the romance I'm reading. I read 63% of the deal last night. And I plan on reading more today. I don't know how much reading I'm going to get in. We have about four hours till game time. So I have four hours to read. I'm going to eat some lunch right after I film this. Well, I'm going to change into sweatpants and then eat some lunch. And then get to reading after that. Because I would really like to finish today. But I don't think that's going to be possible with the game tonight. Then Euphoria. And yeah, it's a busy day. And I mean, I, yeah, I, this Super Bowl Sunday is like a holiday, basically. Um... Not just because the game, which, I mean, I like both teams, but I'm not a fan of either, but I, so I don't really mind who wins. The halftime show, I think it's going to be really good. I really like the artists that are there. I don't want to say really like, but I do like the artists that are there, and when I listen to rap, those are usually the ones that I listen to. And, um, then, um... The commercials because there's only trailers i think we're gonna get a stranger things one and i think we're going to get an obi-wan kenobi one so i think those two are going to be the ones that i'm um i think we're gonna get who knows we may get house of dragons from game of thrones that universe um and we, I, we already have an outlander trailer i don't think outlander would do the super bowl anyway but yeah it's only it's just a fun time and a fun day so can't wait for that give y'all an outfit of the day you can't see the pants so hold on everything is from a canceled brand which is dolls kill well my belt's urban outfitters my shoes are vintage 
and I'm going to go fire off Sean. I'm joking. But it is Monday. I filmed my video. That sounded like some kind of accent, who knows. So I filmed today, I did all that. I've read three chapters of the Georgia Higher book. Um, basically we're going to Paris and it's very, we're going to Paris. <laughs> it's Italian, I don't know why I did that. Um, this book, I have literally not a lot left. I don't know if I will get to it today because I do want to finish the um, these old shades books, which is the Georgia Higher book. Um, I won't finish that today. So I don't know if I will get to the deal today, but I might, you never know. Um, because I am reading a lot faster than I used to read. So I do think it is possible. Look at these little things. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I wanted to do like a whole pink eye look, but my eye decided to get infected. So, or irritated. So I didn't want to put eyeshadow and eyeliner mascara on. So I just did a little rhinestones. I did face makeup like bronzer, highlight, and blush, and then my lips. That's all I did. And I curled my hair, but my hair never stays in curls. It just doesn't. And then pinned back some of it, but that was my outfit of the day. I did have notes from earlier that I didn't read as well, so I'm going to read that as well. So the romance, I think, is kind of gross, but we do have to remember the time period this book was published in and when it takes place. So it was published literally... 95 years ago, not even exaggerating, and takes place like 300 years ago. So we do have to think of that, but I think the, the age gap, it's like a 20 year age gap, which is obviously, it's legal, but, and then, um, but it's a certain situation that the characters are in. Like, I don't know if it's grooming to be exact, because I don't think he ad adopted her or made her his ward to have her fall in love with him. I don't necessarily think that's what happened because, um, yeah, I don't. Um, but there might, just the elements of it, of the roles where they are. Um, but there is a lot of, so going to writing now, there's a lot of head jumping. It randomly changes throughout the chapter. For me personally, I used to have that problem in my writing, but now I do breaks when I change head spaces of characters. So yeah, I think there should be breaks, but that can fall in the editing and not the actual story. So I think the story is predictable, but I have enjoyed my time reading it. I do think the plot is enjoyable and I will be continuing the series. So I literally have like 10 pages left, but I am hungry because I am late for dinner because I stayed up reading. Um, so I'm going to go make my dinner now and all of that. It is Tuesday. It's early in the day. It's I think one o'clock. Yep, one oh one. So I have my books that I am reading today. So I'm gonna start this one actually when not start it, finish it. Like around this time I'm gonna read from like one to two properly and then at two I might film an ASMR video. I don't know, it depends how I'm feeling. But I literally only have like five percent left and I just I've kept getting interrupted with like the Super Bowl and stuff that I just haven't had time to finish and like I really really want to finish it because this is a five star for me and I feel like if I drag it out more <laughs> that may drop and we don't want that to happen. And my dog only has to open the door. She'll open the door, look in, turn her out, and I'm like, what was the point? But then we are starting a historical fiction today that is translated from Italian, and that is Ascendancy, um, or Medici Ascendancy by Matteo Struccio. So this is after Giovanni de Medici died, and it's um, the the family business, the bank, is left to the sons, Cosimo and Lorenzo, and they are trying to run that and protect their family and find out what was the true cause of their father's death. Have you seen Medici on Netflix? That's what this is. Like, it's 
the same story. Um, but I had to get this on Book Depository. I don't know if it's available in America yet or not. Um, yeah, so this is a UK cover. I actually have two copies of the second book. So the this my paperback version is of my unhaul pal because I did not mean to get two copies. They sent me two. I I don't know what that was about. So um and I told them, like I told Book Depository that they sent me two and they were just like, you can keep it or send it back, it doesn't matter. So it's it's here because I was like maybe I'll annotate it maybe I don't know but no I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna put it in my unhaul pal so we'll see what happens with it um Penny is still watching me at least she stayed in the room when she opened the door but yeah so I'm gonna start reading the deal hopefully finish it I did not realize until on Goodreads that the girl on the cover is like literally in her underwear and like knee high socks and I was like I've just been doing all that with it all over my house like um but it's better than the shirtless man right so we're at the part of my tbr the books that i'm very excited for with the joy that higher one now medici and the next will be reading anxious people which a lot of people have been reading anxious people lately i don't know why but that's cool <laughs> and that's all i always tell you about the new releases there's only one that i'm actually like have on my list that came out today and that is our american friend by anna P Peden Pitoniak? I don't know. Um, I think it's like Russian spy kind of story, um, which is something I'm really into at the moment. So hopefully Target will have it, which I highly doubt that they will. I do know which book I'm going to get at Target tomorrow. Um, if they still have it, which I've had it every time I've gone. But yeah, so that is the new release this week that I am interested in. All right, so I finished the deal. My second five star, star of the year. So let's just go through the basics before I write my Goodreads review. So characters, I really like these characters for romance. I feel like they are a lot more developed than we usually see in romance. So we have Hannah who has been through a rape and is going through accepting that and getting back to like dating and actually um, coming to terms with sex again and being comfortable with sex with other people and all of that so that we have all that with her and then we have Garrett who is he's more than just the star hockey player everyone just sees him as oh my gosh he's the hottest and coolest guy on campus he's the captain of the hockey team they don't see him for the person that he really is and he doesn't think he's that cool guy that everyone thinks he is so we have they're coming to terms with themselves and then as a couple atmosphere was really cool because a lot of romance novels these people are more in their mid to late 20s or early 30s and I can't really relate to that so having these characters be only like a year or two younger than me and like college aged and all that I can relate more to that um I know that doesn't really fall into setting but the setting being a college um and then I just like the Massachusetts site. I literally, my dream last night is I went to like an outdoor hockey game at Harvard, which I highly doubt their games are outdoor, but in my mind, that's where it was. And I hear a plane and I have to look because I'm like, what is that? I have to know. So hold on. It is Otis. It's the Navy. See, I knew. Um, Okay, but back to this. So the writing, the writing, um, I mean, it was fine. It wasn't great or anything. It's just like our average romance writing. Yeah, I did not like how the characters talked at times, but it is realistic. Guys really talk about girls like that. Like, obviously not every guy, but I'm going to say a lot of guys do. I'm trying to get, there we go. It's straight now. So, but that it, like the locker room talk, that kind of thing guys talk like that i may hate it but it is realistic the way the characters spoke and all of that it's realistic um yeah so i really enjoyed it it's a five star i did not expect this to be a five star so i'm very glad that i picked this up so the next romance i'm going to probably start tonight I'm not sure when, if I will start tonight, but the next one I plan on reading is The Siren Sussex by, The Siren is of Sussex, but on the front cover it just says The Siren Sussex, and I'm like, that does not make sense, but on the side it has of. And this is by Mimi Matthews, so this is a, another historical romance, and this is 
Um, more of a long one, it looks like. Let's see, we have all this extra stuff in the back. Oh, there's no, oh my gosh, we have a lot. 392, so it's about 20 pages longer than this, but it does not look it like at all. This looks a lot longer. So this is a new release. This came out in January. I didn't know about it. I, I just saw it at Barnes Noble, thought it looked interesting. So this will be the next romance book I pick up. But the next book I'm gonna pick up is um, Medici Ascendancy, which I'm gonna do at three. I'm gonna eat some lunch now and about, yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. It's 2.20. But yes, I'm so happy that I really enjoyed the book because I did not think I would going in. I thought it would just be another average romance overhyped but it is not overhyped i really liked it i say this all the time but some people are so dumb <laughs> no <laughs> that's so rude just a lot of the times i have to tell people word for word exactly what i'm talking about i'm like i've told you this before can people listen to me please i'm just joking around really um but we are starting ascendancy now i do still need to write like my physical review for the deal so I actually need to do that first so then I can put my notes for this in there so I want to read um let me see here I think it was like 12 yeah 11 chapters a day which is only 78 pages and this is quite large font so it is not a lot so that's why I'm pretty certain that I will get to the Siren of Sussex book tonight as well so this is a series that I'm going to be reading for the next three months or in a book a month and I am super excited for it. It's one of my most like anticipated books ever. I talked about it in my TBR video at the start of the month so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But the Dukes of Florence, Pontiffs of Rome, Financers of Kings, Godfathers of the Renaissance, Arbiters of Peace or War, Emperors in all but name, Medici, a family business. So here date who the translator is it is Richard McKenna so wanted to make sure that y'all were aware because I'm sure it takes a lot I realized to I gave myself five days to read this book which I obviously can do way like I'm supposed to be doing it three days so I don't know why that is something that I'm finding that I've done by accident I did with Infinity Country last month so I don't know I should keep it at 11 chapters a day or what because if I read five uh, or the five days I'll read 120 pages in a day but at the same time I feel like it would be nice to get, have my time with it but I really I don't I don't know what I want to do we'll read the three day kind right now and see where that gets me and then we'll, we'll just see what happens. All right, so the reading hour is over. I read 27 pages, which gets me to um, chapter five. So I'm about um, halfway of what I want to get to today, if that is what we do. And it looks like it's going to be what we do um, because I still have, it's the 15th, and that means there are, what, 13 more days? Yeah, 13 more days of the month, so it is doable. So if I start today, one, two, three, four, five, finish the book on Monday, then the book, the Anxious People book, I would finish on the 24th and then read a romance probably from the 25th to 28th. So I think I will be fine giving myself five days to read this, but if it gets to a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is taking forever, I will just rapid fire through it. Um, but what are my thoughts so far? I think the writing is really immersive. Um, it's very detailed, like you can really see the scene. And then um, it's easy to read. I know a lot of people are scared going into translated work, thinking it's going to be clunky and just be difficult to read because it's not in its original language. With this, um, not seeing that at all, this is fairly easy to read um so that and as I said it's immersive I wonder what it'd be like reading it in Italian because I feel like that would probably make it so much more um maybe I'll read it in Italian one day once my Italian is better I know there's a Spanish version as well Dutch is the current language I'm learning so like is there a Dutch version who knows but that would be cool um to read a book in different languages and I do plan on doing that um, I want to buy some like children's books in Dutch um, and practice through that, but I don't know yet if I'm going to do that. Um, but that is an idea of mine that I have. So we 
read 26 pages and I wanted to show you all the bookmark. I made this in like fifth or sixth grade. Um, we did it at school and I'm just like amazed at these leaves. Like that was way over 10 years ago and they're still like colorful. I think that's really nice and I don't know the science behind that. I wish that I did. But that is my update for now. I worked out as well and I'm going to go to Sonic. Sometime I'm going to get like two hot dogs and cheese fries. I just really want hot dogs. Done reading Ascendancy for the day. If I did my math correct, I read about 18%. So this is currently like a four star. We're getting some Sforza action, which I love them. Yeah, it's not like they tortured a tons of tons of people or anything. No, it's because I've been to their castle multiple times. All of that, very cool. So we, so that was 78 pages. So I've read about 95 pages today, but I do have intentions of reading more pages. So I'll be starting this at, um, whenever nine not really nine i'll probably do it after um my dinner so i read that paragraph in a video before so we're gonna read the final paragraph now but pushing boundaries comes at a cost and not everyone is pleased to welcome evelyn and ahmad into fashionable society fashionable society with obstacles spanning between them, the indomitable pair must decide which hurdles they can jump and what matters most, making their mark or following their hearts. So this is actually, it's, I don't know if it's only going to be one book or more, but um, there are currently two, no, I know there's more than one book. There's currently two books that came out the same day, but this is the first book. I'm glad that I picked up the first book because I have picked up a second book by accident in the past. But most of the time with the romance, you can read them like separately. So I'll be starting that after I eat, which I'm eating at 7.30 and 17 minutes, but just my reading update for the six o'clock hour. Oh yeah, I think with the Medici book, I keep comparing it with the show. I'm like, did this happen in the show? Like, it doesn't matter if it happened on the show because this is all based on the same thing. Um, because for some reason I connect these books with the show because it starts at the same time that the show starts. So I don't know if they're supposed to be connected or not. Um, but yeah, that's something bad. I don't know, it's, I wouldn't say it's bad, it's not, bad on the book's part it's bad on my part of comparing it with the show but that is my only note from that um reading hour so I do think reading the 11 chapters a day works out fine gets me done um at a good time so um as I said later I will be picking up the Bells of London book it's eight o'clock and I did want to mention that I am back to writing my story. I'm on chapter six of it. So I want to have um, basically like a day of NaNoWriMo before Monday, cause I like to post on Mondays. I've never said where I post or anything. One of y'all is gonna have to find it and be like, this is it. <laughs> um, cause really I'm just posting it to see people's reactions. Um, who are people that I don't know. And then, um, cause I have had friends um, read over what I've read in and then I posted it on this website. And then after that, who knows, I might publish it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see what people who I don't know personally see their thoughts on it. And I have, today was the first day I've ever gotten comments and people are enjoying it. And that just makes me super happy. Um, so I want to get 1,667 words written by Monday. So that's about 333 words a day. So I like to do about 100 words in a paragraph. This first paragraph that I've written for this chapter has 117. So I need to write two more paragraphs, which is not that bad. And um, then I um, will be set for the day. If you're wondering, I write it physically first. Just, I like to have this physical copy and if like the end of the world happens and we don't have internet, I can have something to do and not have my story completely lost. I need to do this with like the other things I write. But, um, so I have that all, um, I write it physically first, then I do it in a Word document, then in a Google doc, 
and then I upload it. Like I do all that. Cause so um, doing a Word document is really good for the grammar because it shows where grammar may be corrected or maybe you can make a, a little lesser or better for the reader to understand. And then I just put it onto Google Docs cause that's easier for my friends to like, you know, be able to read and access. And then all of a sudden I post it online once um, they've reviewed it for me. But yes, so I did want to give you all that little update. Guys, it's Wednesday. I don't know if I said that in the Target clips. I didn't film because in Target there was like no one there, but there were people in the book section. I'm like, ah. but I did get one book and I did show myself getting it. It's one that I've had on my um Goodreads so I'm gonna lean back because I feel like it. So this is the Love Con, Love Con. It's because it rhymes with Love Gun, but um, by Sarasia Glass. All's fair in love and cosplay. If you don't know, I cosplay occasionally. Unless I came to the conclusion that Cersei is like my go-to cosplay because like she's the one I got like the most comments on, on social media. Like Marjorie Tyrell is the one in person where I was like on people want pictures and all that, but that was pre-pandemic. Then my Cersei, I didn't start cosplaying the Cersei till mm -hmm. the um, pandemic. But okay, so what is this about? He's cosplaying as her boyfriend, but their feelings for each other are real. And this romantic comedy from Ceresia Glass. Sometimes Kenya Davenport believed she was switched out of the hospital. How else could a lover of anime, gaming, and cosplay come from STEM parents? Still, Kenya dreams of being able to turn her creative hobby into a career. She finally has a chance to make it big when she joins the reality show competition Cosplay or No Way. Um, so I only read just the first paragraph for y'all. Ooh, she loves South of Atlanta. I love South Atlanta. I was, um, there in South of Atlanta, and it's, um, so she's from South of Atlanta. This came out two months ago, by the way, um, which I vlogged my whole time there. Um, I, when I went to the set of Stranger Things and all that, a lot of fun, Stranger Things season four, hint, hint, no, I don't know anything, but yeah, I went there, and it, they, it, where I went was in so south of Atlanta, the southern Atlanta metro, which just gave me a whole new perspective on Atlanta, because I've only been somebody who's only in the northern Atlanta, which are like the ritzy suburbs where all the famous people live, pro athletes live, all that kind of thing, and, um, it's where the baseball stadium is, like now is, um, and so I had only to go on that part of Atlanta, the malls, everything are there. And then I finally, in 2021, I went to South Atlanta for the first time and it was just so different. It's, the people are so much more real. Everything there is so much more real. It's not all that glitz and glam. And, um, yeah, so I really liked it. And, um, yeah, I want to say, but I will say the infrastructure is not as good that you're going to be in a lot. Atlanta, you're going to be in traffic in general anyway, but in South Atlanta, a lot of the roads haven't been um, widened yet, so that, that was the thing, but um, um, I'm fine with that. It's not a turn off for me, but yeah, I am burning up in this. It is, um, it's a 61, but it feels a lot warmer than that, and I'm sure it's warmer in my house. I'm in my skims on little, um, Two piece set today, which is really comfortable. I had my pants dry cleaned recently and they're just they smell really good, but it's all just so soft. But I am very warm. There is our Wednesday intro. I have read today, I've read 29 pages of Medici, and my only thing is this is like such a weird thing to say. The sex scenes are so like awkward. It's probably because translation, but just the words being used and how it's being described, I'm like. We're using like textbook definition words of body parts. It's just, I don't know, it's, I've never read anything like that. So I just think it's kind of like awkward, but it doesn't take away from my reading experience. Cause it's, this isn't a romance, so like the sex isn't the main thing. It's just occasionally, you know, happens cause that's real life. But yeah, I just think they're awkwardly worded. So I'm making a pizza right now and that is what i'm going to eat i literally only spent a little over 30 dollars at target today yeah just 
didn't buy a lot. Time for an update. So I got done reading Medici for the day. I read 73 pages. So my thoughts are still um, the same as earlier. No real new thoughts. And then um, I wrote another 300 and about 50. Well, no, I can get the exact number of words. Um, 354 words for my story that I'm writing. Wrote, typed, edited, all of that. So I am glad to get that done and I am actually liking what I'm writing because I haven't written since November. So I've written with this story since November. So I was nervous to get back into it, but it is going well and I'm happy with what I'm doing. So I'm about to get to reading The Siren of Sussex. Now I did read up to page 27 last night, which is only 7%. I didn't get a lot done. So with this, the chapters are long and yeah, with romance, that's something you don't really see that often, or at least in the romances that I've read. And I actually said the books come out on the same day. No, I was wrong. The second book comes out in October of this year, but both books come out the same year, which is interesting. So I think these characters are very similar in ways, but not like too similar. So we have Evelyn, who's just moving to London from Sussex, which I'm not exactly sure where Sussex is. I don't think I've been there. Cause it's in the south, but I, I don't think I've been there. Um, so she's coming from this country life, coming to the city in London to, and um, she's going to be like a debutante. Is that I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. A high society, but making her debut into society, and. Um, with that, that will help her younger sisters and just help them all so they can have a good life. And then we have Ahmed Malik, who is, he's moved to England from India as a child with his um, cousin and then his cousin's father, who was an Englishman. Um, so the cousin's father passed away and um, Ahmad is there to take care of his younger cousin and he is teaching her about dressmaking and tailoring because that's the work that he's in. So they both have that where they are coming from somewhere new into the city, even though he's been there for many years, but still, um, he's still seen as an outsider, obviously. So for that time period. So we have them both coming from places that are not London, both having to look after younger female family members um, or have that weight on their shoulders. And so, we have that and we'll have to see where this romance goes. The banter, I did really like the banter between the two in the, I think, first chapter when they first met. I really liked that. So I'm gonna get to reading. I don't know how much I'll get done because again, the chapters in here are quite long. I only read two chapters last night. So um, we will have to- hey Guys, <laughs> no, let's lower it a little bit for these two. They're there. Um, Trying to get it where it's like perfectly straight. It's almost. But yeah, it is Thursday, one o'clock. I'm gonna go out in an hour and read it is it's 73 degrees, which is perfect. <sighs> Sorry, I was I had to carry my cat and he is like 20 pounds. But okay. So it's like 73 degrees, perfect temperature, but it is really windy, so that is I'm kind of hesitant about that but I'm going to do it. And oh my gosh, I just helped my dog in the bed for her to jump out. Oh, it's gonna be, it's 75 now. So it should be 75 the whole time I'm out there, but it is really windy because it looks like we are going to have a rainstorm tomorrow. Yeah, wind is 16 miles per hour. So that's not really gonna be fun. And if I read in my front yard, I wouldn't have this issue because I could be under a roof but i am just not at that level where i'm comfortable reading out there that's where yeah at home where my agoraphobia is worse is the front yard um if i'm by myself like if i'm with someone else i'm fine but being by myself absolutely not don't want to do that that's why i'm practicing but be on, on one side of the yard that is more open and closer to the front yard so i'm just making my way baby steps you know but yeah, so I will read then. I'm probably going to edit my ASMR video right now. I don't know if my computer is charged enough to do that. Um, I might do some writing. I don't know how I'm going to do, but I have an hour to spare. And yeah, so I'm just going to 
Find something to do. I'm not sure how well you can see me or not. I know you can see me, but the brightness. So I am outside. Y'all can probably hear the wind, how windy it is. And hear Penny barking. So I'm starting on page 151 today in um, Medici Ascendancy. I'm kind of cold because my shirt's cropped and my pants are low-waisted. Oh, Penny just did a whole roll. But yeah, so my notebook where I have my notes is just flying everywhere, the pages. It's very windy, but it's fine. Yep, my notebook just ended up on the ground. Cool, this might be a really bad idea. I don't know this. I feel like I'm in a hurricane, tornado, whatever. Like, yeah. This went from there to there. This, I, I don't know how this is in a group. I read 31 pages in that sitting. So my one note is that it is a bit choppy. There are a bunch of time jumps, even if it's just like a few months. So I think that might be confusing or difficult for someone who doesn't know a lot about the Medici. Like they don't have a background knowledge on what was going on at this time in history with them. So I think that may be difficult just if you are not familiar with this kind of thing. So maybe read some nonfiction, watch the Netflix series, or it's technically an REI series. Um, if you don't know a lot about the Medici, I'd recommend doing that before picking up this book. I know it can be so confusing sometimes going into historical fiction with no background knowledge. I've had that issue several times myself. So I do recommend having that background knowledge before going into this series. And for the six o'clock update, so I'm done reading Ascendancy for the day I got to where I wanted to. I'm gonna say I am somewhere around the halfway point. Not exactly sure because there's not a lot of info on this book on Goodreads, not even the page number. And I didn't feel like doing math, but I read 81 pages in that, so I'm gonna pick up The Siren of Sussex. Um, probably after I eat my dinner, which is in about 20 minutes, but I'm probably gonna eat it sooner just so I can start reading sooner. So, but my update for this, I think the side characters are more interesting than the main characters, but that is probably because I had, I've never heard of them. I think they're fictional when the main characters are obviously characters I am familiar with in history and all that. So it's interesting again to meet new people. But yeah, by saying side characters, Swartz and Laura, I really like their plots. And in this, we are getting kind of um, point of views of the villains as well, which you don't really get on the show. So I think that's interesting. But when I was out earlier getting my lunch, this <laughs> leaf blew into the car and landed right in my lap. So I'm going to put it in my um, bullet journal. So I'm done reading for the day. I read 132 pages across two books. So I'm at 28% now, and this is usually when I have my thoughts formulated of what I think of the book. So right now I'm gonna say it's like a 3.5, maybe like a 3.75. So the characters are great, the writing is great, but the plot, I am just finding myself bored. I'm skimming through paragraphs and all of that. So that's not a good thing. Um, so that's my only issue. And this is the biggest romance book we've read this month. And um, I've been saying of uh, isn't on the front page or on the cover, it's right there. I just couldn't read that. It looks like it's all just <laughs> these girls. So I still don't think that's a great on the cover art um, by the wording, but it could just be because I'm terrible at reading cursive. But yeah, we are ending the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when my videos go live. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.